my friends and welcome back to Phoenix Ride Ace Attorney. We're gonna go on now with the trial to try to save Edgy Boy's, well, life so he doesn't get put in jail for someone else's crime. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Turn about goodbye, stay tuned, travel, for shit stuff. December 26, 9.44 a.m. District Court, defendant Lumbi number two. Two. Karma? <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, that's someone's name. That's right. Manfred. Manfred won Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He has another case in his 40-year career. He's a god. God of prosecution. Right. A god. Not a single case? He didn't do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Just like you! Oh, <laughs> Mmm. Sounds like someone else I know, edgy boy. <sighs> Your words hurt. <sighs> you don't understand. I mean, he'd really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. <laughs> He taught me what it really means to prosecute. Oh, so he's your teacher. What? what? His picture and prosecute as vicious as me multiplied by a factor of 10. Oh. Uh, so, he was your teacher to then, Miss Edgeball? Something like that. Oh. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, right. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to have you out. Yeah, right. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> Not a chance. No chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years! And now he's like, ah, okay, I can I can lose just for you, my little buddy. I, my student. <laughs> he is as ruthless as me. Times 20! But first it was 10, now it's 20. Wow, it's just getting worse and worse by the second. Well, that's, pr that's, that's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a glob among prosecutors. Um... I, you know, uh, to be, you know, so they don't want justice prosecutors, they just want to put any, just anyone in jail. It's, uh, it, it's your boy makes prosecutors sounds like that, and I don't really think that's the case. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia, um, my, uh, who? <laughs> We could really be using me as help right now, don't you think? I wonder what Edgy Boy is gonna think of that comment. Oh. I can't. Sorry, I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't ran. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. Bad my bad. No, kidding. I'm really sorry. I guess that's why you wanted uh, to go to a waterfall or something. I, I try my best, Og, and that's all that matters. I hope so. Oh, no, that sounds kind of harsh. Oh, oh, we're whispering. Oh, man, okay. Oh, well, I'm bad at whispering anyway, so. <laughs> what, what are you whispering about? Uh, oh, oh, uh, it's nothing. Nothing. Well, it's time, let's head in. Bum, 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 bum. December 26, 10 a.m., District Court, courtroom number three. Oh wow, who's that? Oh, is that, uh, Sensei? Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Edgeworth, I'm sorry, I have to my throat. <clears throat> the defense is ready, your honor. Oh, wow. Oh, hello. Uh, um, um Mr. Monclava, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here where I would not completely prepare? Right, right, my apologies. Why are you apologizing? He's even got the judge scared. Very well, your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Ah, er, uh, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call his first witness. What's wow, wait, with this guy? Is he a royal or something? Or a pirate? Because he kind of looks, you know, really piratish. How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case. The detective get the gumshoe. Okay, gumshoes first. Let's see how this goes. It's 
it's gonna be interesting. Hello, Gamshu. How are we going? Screw that incident. No! Uh, 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 oh, what's your horse? Yes, sir! There we go. <laughs> the text Gamshu looks nervous. Well, I would too. Uh, please, uh, take a look at the, the, at the map. <laughs> oh, that's a nice map. The moon and the lake, they got Miss Eva around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. That's not in the middle, not even slightly. There were two men on the boat. Now, there happened to be a woman coming here on the edge of the lake. Even though you're not supposed to do that. At 20, uh, 12, not 10, 12, 10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. Ow, that was fast. <laughs> oh, boom. It went towards the boat render shop. Hmm. Overhead map added to the court record. Testify to the court about your arrest. No! What? Wait, 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 Mr. Bonkama. Yes. Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Oh, wow, I text myself. I'm so sorry. So not cool. Boom. There's one thing you need to do here. <laughs> you will slam down your gavel and say the word GUILTY! That is your rule. Um, whoa. Okay. You really putting judge in here? <laughs> judge, please. <laughs> wow. Stop judging the judge! Uh, y y yes, of course, you're quite right. <laughs> no, it's not! No, no. Witness this moment, arrest of Edgy Boy. A man called into the station around 30 minutes after midnight. A man? We had we had the scene of the crime as fast as we could. There, that's where we found Miss Edgeboy. Oh, all right, he was there. Now I didn't see the name of anything at all, but the next morning a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeboy. <laughs> yeah, there's not much to go on there, but I want to know about that man who called him. Hmm, I see very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Nay. <laughs> <laughs> Evil stare of you, boo boo. And then I'm called into the stage, you know. Okay, let's go with the pressy boo here. Because I wonder about that man. You received a call from a man? Are you sure it was a man? Er, uh, yep. But you said there was a woman coming there. She was the one who heard the uh, gunshots, right? Whoa, what's that? The woman and the man are calling. Two different people, obviously. But we want to know about the freaking man. Different people. There were two witnesses. Oh. Urk. The testimonies were quite similar, however. They have summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping, Lotta Hart. Lotta! What happened next? What happened next to the I want to know about that man. We have to see another crime as fast as we could. I guess we are suppressed with all the things now. As always. How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, uh, see, it was about three minutes. Yeah. That's good. I always be that fast. That's good. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the moment is get there quick. Also, you got back to that motto. Wow, that such a deep voice. Detective, you were afraid from casually revealing department secrets. Y yes, sir. Sorry, sir. What? what? Do that, and you'll be able to report to your next salary review. So, so much I look forward to these days. Merry Christmas, I guess. <laughs> Happy New Year's Eve, everybody! <laughs> this is no time for dating. Continue! Y yes, sir. <laughs> That's where we found Mr. Edgy Burr. Doing what? What was Mr. Edgy Boy like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed, not like a murderer at all, really. Oh, wow, that's a big voice! Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, Detective, hard cold objective facts. Y y yes, sir. Man, he's got his share of objections. 
But I think that's kind of in fact too, because how people act when something, when weird stuff happens, that's that's important too to know this. I don't wanna, I don't wanna press here because I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna, because I know he cares about it, boy. But maybe this comes something. Oh, I don't wanna press here. I have to. What? Why didn't you think he was situation? Because they're friends. You should know. We have a deep trust in the relationship with the prosecutors. Yeah, I know what you will say then or something. I think the court is an interest in your machines. Deep trusting popcock. Shushers. I never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. <laughs> oh, that's why I didn't want to press here. Yeah. This gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue. No. I don't like that. I like that. Uh, but the next one, as pressing tool. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. A single bullet was recovered from the body. It was shot through the heart, fatally. Oh, wow. Yeah, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bones, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts this bullet into evidence. Pistol bullet added to the court record. So, we had to arrest Mr. Edgy Boy. Wh why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? Oh, that's a nice, that's a, that's a, that's a nice looking pistol. <laughs> like on old movies. A pistol. Detective Gumshoe. That is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right, uh, so sorry, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, what about the piece of made decisive evidence? Well, duh. Oh, look at that face. Horror. Ah, yes, yeah, the same evil love as Edgy Boy. There were fingerprints on the pistol found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgy Boy's right hand. Okay, now, um, well, now it's getting really interesting. Wh what? Order, order. So, Mr. Edgy Boy's finger fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Y yes, you are. Judge, this is the weapon in question. I, I, I accept it into evidence. Pistol added to the court record. Oh, wow, that's gonna be really difficult. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Y y y yes, sir? Was the bullet found in the body fire from this pistol? Yeah, I was actually thinking about that. Yeah, the bullet markings on the bullet matched the, pist match the pistol. Hmm. Hey Nick! What does it mean, ballist ballistic markings? Shooking. To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. Nick is glaring at me. Very well, I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Uh, uh, me? me, me? <coughs> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves the distinct marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to which to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. The pistol which, as you may recall, was covered with the defender's own fingerprints. Order! Order! This is bad. This makes it look like Edgy Boy did it. Well, yeah. With the fingerprints, that's gonna be real, really hard to, you know, to come back from. Well, Judge. I say, it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... I, I don't like that, Bo. Stop doing that. You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. Okay. I will call my witness of the recess, which will last 10 minutes. Judge! Yes? 
What are you doing? A 10 minute recess. No! <laughs> but, but wait, ah. Uh. Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Aww. Uh, <clears throat> this court will take a 10, 10 minute recess. Who's running this court anyway? Yeah, Railer, come on now. December 26, 1109 <laughs> a.m. This is court defendant lumb lobby number two. I bet he's gonna come over to talk to us. Edgy boy, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Uh, how are you gonna explain this? And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have stole shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? No. What? It was? Yeah, yes, it was me. What? But you must believe I didn't shoot him. What? Okay, so a snipe, but that doesn't make sense. D then who did? I, I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but... Why not? Why can't you say? We need to We need to know everything. I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Uh, the heart? You mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation I can come up with. Huh. How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say Maya? Huh? Wh why? Any progress with Mia? Oh. No. Sorry. It's not good. Ugh. I know. I'm not good for anything, am I? No, don't say that. You're awesome. If, if I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Phoenix, really? Is that an option? Yeah, you're used. No, I need... Of course I need you here. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the, t it's the fault that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials. All depends. What's more, I'm a spirit medium who can't even contact spirits. Oh, everyone has their off days. Yeah, everyone has those, okay? I mean, I've just been getting lucky, la lucky lately, but you never know when my luck is going to run out. R really? Oh, sh- oh, f Fudge sake, edgy boy. Can't you just be silent? Come on! <sighs> What's that look with your face? Gosh dang it. <laughs> Don't jinx this case any worse than it's already is. It's bad for me. Right. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, now I kind of can't see your point why you said that. But oh, uh, oh, oh, sorry. Oops. <laughs> I thought you were like ah, oh, you can't say it, Laura. Uh, Laura's being that. Blah, 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 blah. I thought it was going to be mean, and then he, he was just being scared. I'm sorry, G boy. I'm sorry. Don't mean to, of course. That could. I didn't think about that. I'm sorry. Court is back in session. 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 Mr. Von Karma, I call your witness. Yeah. We'll miss a lot of her take the stand. Hello there! L lot of her, you are a researcher at the university? Yeah, that I am, no. Good. Begin by telling us what you saw the night of the incident. Incident. And don't add anything trivial or subjective. Understand? <laughs> that fast? Y'all need to learn some manners. Oh, I don't like your face. Understand? You, you, I understand. I understand. Oh, very well, your testimony, please. Witness testimony. Witness account. It was Christmas Eve, yes. You stopped him in I reckon. It was, I was in my car. I heard his bang and come up from the lake. When I looked out the window, I saw two chains in a boat. Then there was another bang. Bang. There was nearly a thing on the lake, but that boat. So there are two gunshots. But there was only one wound, right? And one bullet found, yes? Enough. Huh? Judge, she happened to take a photo of the incident. This is the photo. Is the photo is it accepted as evidence? Well, well, this is a surprise. It is. This looks like the very moment of the murder. Oh, the music. Dun, dun, dun. Oh wow, now it's getting serious, the three, you know, the three times, you know, that's the serious moment. O -o order, I will remove you from the court if I do not have an order immediately. As a, as a witness, as a witness said by her, she looked at the lake where she heard the charge. There were no other boats on that lake, so the man in the boat 
not with the victim of something there, oh, one who shot him. Yes, it was the defendant, Mads Edgy Boy. Oh my, three times again. Wow, it's getting serious. Oof. Order, order, order. I will have order. Wow, four times with orders. Oof. Will judge. Oh my gosh, stop that fast. No, 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 no. The evidence is decisive. I have very little doubt about this case. No. Wow, that was fast. I, I bet me I was almost gonna pop up like pew, or uh, things like that. I have objection or something. Or Ed, even Edge Boy, maybe. Or Maya. Hmm. Um, very well. This court finds the defendant. Yay! Wait, wait, Your Honor! I haven't cross examined the witness yet. A cross examination. Ugh, I don't, I don't want to. I'm not even looking at the screen right now. Okay. We have photographic proof of what question can there possibly be? This photo is worth a thousand words and they all read guilty. You lose. Or. Do you claim to have found a contradiction in her testimony? Oh, the music. Oh, yeah. Very well. If you have to, you may cross-examine the witness. You will only flounder and ask meaningless questions. You will fail to find anything. So I'll go out and take a cup of coffee while you do that, okay? And then I will have you held in contempt of court. What? Uh, neck? Uh, contempt? Not out of court, you know? I guess I understand. Well, what are you going to do? Do you really think there was a contradiction with the facts in her testimony? Uh, I think there wasn't. Because why would she lie? But I think, I guess the writers don't think there was. I, I think I noticed one little thing. Wow, I'm impressed, Nick. I didn't notice anything. Right, let's take him on. Y yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. Slap, slap. I understand. I will cross-examine the witness. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Don't do the flip. Don't do it out of the face, please. Very, very, very. I pray for your sake. This isn't a waste of time. <laughs> Evil stare off. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah. Why were you in the car? Oh, this bang! Come out on the leg. When I looked out the window, I saw two gents in a boat. Then there was another bang. There wasn't an area thing on the lake, but that boat. There weren't any contradictions in there. Sorry, Ne. I feel only my sister were here. Maya's really thinking this hard. Oh, don't do that. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna... Fight three times? Wait, three times? Huh. Yeah, because I wonder about this. It's a, it should have taken a photo the next... Uh, uh, it should have taken two photos, right? Because of the bang bang. Bang bang bang. Okay, let's press everything. Just after midnight, you say? In other words, it was no longer Christmas Eve, but Christmas Day. So? Huh, uh, uh, yeah, well, well, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's such a deep voice! I knew you went to find contradictions, but really. Hmm. I hope your next condition is a little bit more relevant to the trial. Witness, continue your testimony. Okay, so, I, so they don't think it's okay to, if I press everything? I was in my car. But why? I mean, your camera. Why were you camping there anyway? I'm a research student at my university. I was taking pictures to use in my research. What research? This all sounds suspicious. Press powder. Miss Hart. Could you be more specific about your research? Ugh, oh, I don't like that fast. But what does the witness motive in camping by the lake have to do with the case? So you were, you're not allowed to camp there? The answer is nothing. I object to this line of questioning. Objection sustained. 
You can't decide that. Wait, wait, wait now. I'm the one who says that. Well, then see it already. Oh, come on. Thanks for nothing, Your Honor. Okay, I'm gonna press here and then I'm gonna press on the uh, second bang. So you weren't looking at the lake at that time? No. I looked at the, I heard that noise. She said that already, as you define contradictions, not leisure chat with a witness. Uh. When I looked out, I saw two Jans in the boat. Yeah. And there was another bang. Okay? Okay? That's the same thing, yeah? Were you watching the very moment the shot rang out? Well, yeah, sure. That was kinda... Not really... Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> you ask a meaningless question, it's meaningless. Contradiction is right, not meaningless. Meaningless babble. Von Karma, I think I hate you. I do too! He's trying to keep me from talking to the witness. To what end? Maybe he murdered someone. There was an area thing on the lake, but that boat. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we should press here too. I guess we have to press everything. Could you clearly see the two men? Just look at the picture. You could be the cleaner for you. Uh oh. But the gun was shot three times. It's so odd. Wait a second. I wasn't asking you about the photo. I was asking if you saw the two men. Uh, yeah, well, of course. You're lying. <sighs> Stop talking, Karma. Gosh. You're almost even more annoying than freaking Edgy Boy. <sighs> The, the witness this fighter, she saw that there's also a photo. She best look elsewhere for your pre precious contradictions. He jumped in quick, he's hiding something. Of course she is. Yeah, this is odd, that's so odd. But what about that creature thing? Are you sure about that? You sure it's a country girl can be? That sounds pretty sure. How come you're so sure? Well, heck, I scanned the whole lake. Scanned? Scanned the whole lake. This almost sounds like she was more interested in the lake than the boat. Miss Hart, you... Of course, of course. Stop doing that face, come on! Ah! Mr. Bright, the witness has answered the question before. Ugh. No need for further questions of extensive stick. Stop! That's not your job, even! Uh, uh that's what... Uh, um... Sustain! Yeah, 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 of course. <laughs> all great. Enough. I think we heard all we need to hear, Mr. Bright. It seems you are unable to find a contradiction in testimony worth not noting. But, 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 Your Honor. Oh, I don't like you. You keep your promise. Mr. Bright. I am afraid that I will have to penalize any further outburst by holding you in contempt of... What? Seriously? And if that happens, you'll have to leave the courtroom immediately. Understood. Whoa, was so I really got a... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Nick. A lot of testimony is fishy, Nick. Real fishy. I know what you mean. But... If I can't say anything, what can I do? I believe we will cover the evidence sufficiently to make a decision. Then pass your judgment. Very well. Mr. Miles Edgeboy, please take the stand. Oh. Oh, yeah. Who, who, who was that? Uh, it was... It was me! Maya? It is something wrong? Do, do, do you need to use the facilities? <laughs> no, no, I don't know. Lana! It doesn't have any stinks! Stinks, I know. It's unclear whether you were look, actually looking at the leg. It's highly doubtful that you actually saw Mr. Jabal. Tell us the truth. This is a matter of life or death. <gasps> Lana! Did you really clearly did you really clearly see Mr. Edgeboy that night? Did you see him fire that pistol? Oh judge, are you trying to stand up for yourself now? <laughs> the court does not, uh, not acknowledge the defense outburst. Answer me, Lara! What's the big good do you do me like some kind of dream? 
I saw him, I swear. I saw it, you boy. Enough, Judge. Delay the dancing on the record. Y yes, yes, of course. I'm sorry, but you were warned. God, escort Mr. Wright out of the courtroom. He is in contempt of court and must leave. No, no. Oh man, what do we do now? Wait. Oh no, my no! I, I, I was the one who made the outburst, Johanna. Nick is innocent. Ah, oh, don't do your face. <laughs> What's the difference? All that remains is for the guilty verdict to be declared. Isn't that right, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Um. What? What should I go with? I mean, I want to put the murder in jail, but... I don't know. Oh, wow. Dang it, he's right. Nick, there must be something we can do. I, I don't think there is. The, cro the cross-examination is over already. But, but, but didn't Lana say, just say she was on? She did, Nick. She just said that she saw Mr. Edgeboy. She said that in her testimony, did she? Y you're right. Y Your Honor. Did you hear what Miss Hart just said? She said she clearly saw Mr. Edgeboy. That was not in the testimony. That changes her testimony, and I have a right to cross-examine her again. Oh my gosh, serious, 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 serious. Oh my god, so serious. Oh my gosh. Six orders. That's whoa. You you ain't going to the court. It's too late for white claims. Judge, the same age objection. Are you gonna stand up for yourself now, Judge? Or not? I'm sorry, Mr. Von Karma, but I cannot. Really? Wow. Stand up to your bullies. <gasps> wow. What? Miss Lana Hart has made a new testimony. The defense does, ha does have a right to cross-examine her again, even though I'm really, really scared of you. But, but he's in contempt of court. No. No, I am. Still a belly goose. If you're going to arrest someone, arrest me. No. Hmm. Very well. No, 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 my affair, no. <sighs> you will leave the courtroom immediately. Nick, I did what I could. You have to do the rest. Good luck. But I need you. M M Maya. No. It's gonna be my sidekick or in my well, in my garden. Uh, you're gonna protect me, you know. Uh. And you're only gonna say even word. Uh, 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 Rasmus can't even say what I said because I'm awful. Baby, baby. Listen well, Mr. Bright. I do not tol tolerate badgering of my witnesses. I'm running out of time. I better find a contradiction here or else. Mr. Bright, begin your cross examination. Oh, wow. Evil stare of. Urgh, you suck! I saw GSD, the man on the boot, towards Mr. Ichibo. Oh, that's it? Uh-oh, I don't know if I can find anything in that. What will Maya say? There will seriously just one thing. I wonder if I have something. But who is the other person? That's what I wonder. Like, if you could see that. I mean, I know. I, I can't have afford... Yeah, last time they told us. I just have forgot about it. <laughs> well, what about the other man? Oh, come on! You cannot accept to be allowed to... You cannot accept to be blatantly and ignore your promise, Mr. Bray. I believe you claim there was a contradiction in the witness testimony. Well, find it. If you can... What? What? Excuse me? Dang, that's it? Uh oh, I don't know if I can find anything yet in that. What will Maya say? Oh, so I need to use evidence? Oh, come on. <sighs> okay, we really gotta look through this then. Set to admin take a picture when a loud noise is detected. Face is delayed. I wonder if this is what I had to throw up. <laughs> throw up. <laughs> that sounds nasty. Um, wait, 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 wait. We need to show this. So if the bow was here. Okay, yeah, she could totally see it. 
I guess we go with the freaking... This? Oh gosh, it's gonna be wrong. Oh, hello, I don't know. Got you! Oh, it was right! Got you, Miss Hart! Finally! What? 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 what you go what? Look at this photograph. This photo I took? This is the very same. Oh, I can't see anything. I can just see two blobs standing on a huge blob with a little, little blob in the middle. There's something I want you to see in this photo. It's quite clearly vis visible. The fog, Miss Hart. So, 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 so. This picture was taken with professional high quality film, correct? Yet even it could not capture the face of the man on the boat. Ha! Yet you claim you saw Mr. Edgeboy. How? That's right, oh my gosh. Hey, I'm glad that was that was correct. <laughs> Mr. Bye has point. Oh come on. This way I told Uh excuse me? Okay. Um, oh well, you said please, so let's go. We are just gonna let that slip. The poop? That's why I told you not to say that in your testimony, please. What? What? Yet, now she has said it, Mr. Von Karma. How could you possibly see Mr. Edgy Boy? Explain yourself. Miss Hart? What? Could you, could you see the defendant that night? Well, of course, I should, I could, and I meant I could. Then please testify as to the circumstances. Of the, to the circumstances of your sighting. I did it. I finally found a hole in Von Karma's carefully vague testimony. Witness says only how Edgy Boy was seen. Yeah, but it was cool night and the uh, focus quite uh, thick as grits. So once I was finished uh, setting up the camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. When I heard that noise on the, uh, out on the lake, I looked with my binoculars. See? No problem. Yeah, right. Hmm, you s use binoculars. Very well, you may begin your cross examination, Mr. Bright. This one better be good. Evil stare of. Oh, come on now. <sighs> yeah. So once I was editing on my camera, I got back in the car. Still, I brought my binoculars with me. Still, it's really hard to. Really Look at stuff with the binoculars in the fog. Binoculars? Yeah, you, binoculars. Yesterday you mentioned that you were out looking for shooting stars, correct? With you. Wouldn't you need a telescope, not binoculars for that? <gasps> yeah, duh. I got doubts about your camera too. Was that really to take pictures of meteor showers? The camera is irrelevant to this case. No, it's not. It's really important. You can't say that for certain. Hmm, Mr. Bright. Is the camera really relevant to this case? If you believe it is, you may continue with this line of questioning. But notice, if you find nothing with this, there will be consequences. Well, Mr. Bright, do you wish to press further about the camera? Yeah. This is make it or break it time. Slam. The camera is of ut utmost importance, Your Honor. It is perhaps the key to this enti entire case, therefore I will continue my line of questioning. Wow, maybe I went a little overboard there. But it should have taken two photos, okay, because there were two shots. And, it, and apparently the pistol, uh, it has been... Uh, uh, and apparently it has shot three times. Maybe it was shot like way before in some other time, and I don't know. Very well. Miss Hart, you will testify to the court about the camera. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. The camera was set up to take pictures of a meteor shower. Well, they can't really hear, you know. Um, I don't know if this is a good idea, but I'm gonna try. You were photographing shooting stars? That's a lie! Yeah, you were right. Says who? Your camera. I saw the camera you set up yesterday. It was pointed directly at the lake. You have to point a camera upwards to take photos of the star, Miss Hart. Ooh. Yeah, that's alright. Mr. Bright, what are you driving at? The witness was not at the lake to photograph shooting stars, Your Honor. <laughs> well, 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 then what exactly was you photographing? Show evidence. I don't know. <laughs> Your Honor, take a look at this. What? 
was Miss Hart trying to program with like? I bet it was this. I hope it's right. Miss Hart. Yeah, okay. Be good. And uh, this is what you were trying to photograph. What's this? A newspaper article? Yeah, <laughs> she was trying to take a photo of this article. Gordy? Ah, the sign you at Gord Lake. Well, Miss Hart? Ah, uh, I never heard of no Lake Monster. You got proof or something. You see, you proved that I was down in Lake trying to photograph this Gordy. Wow, uh, uh, do I have proof? I don't have any proof. Maybe this? Hmm, I see you proved that I was down there. Because why would she try to photo, if it was there for meteor, why would she try to take a freaking photo of the water? Why was it pointing at the water? It's really, really, really weird. I'm gonna look at that. Okay. And I'm gonna look at the map. No, okay, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, maybe I should try it with a freaking camera again. I have proof. I have it! Proof! We do. <laughs> hmm, intriguing. Very well, let's see it, and no joking around this time, please. Here is proof that the witness was trying to photograph Gordy, the lake master. I'm really, really not sure about this. Because, I mean, I could go with the camera again, if it's like something the game would do to us. But it must be, because there's nothing else to really prove, prove that. And I can show the article again, and I can show the photo again. I I bet it is the camera. Because why is it facing the lake? The proof, Miss Hart, is your own camera. Your camera was set to take photos in response to loud noises, correct? Alright, yeah, okay. Good. Does the photograph here taken with a, uh, when a gun fired on the lake? And here, this article about Gordy. According to this article, Gordy made a loud noise when it emerged. Well, you were trying to photograph Gordy, weren't you? That's why you had set your camera to respond to loud noises. Order, order! I see. I too thought it was a little strange. Yeah, sure. <laughs> well, Miss Hart. You were camping there to try and take a photo of Gordy, weren't you? You. Yeah. No bad. Are all you lawyers that mode? Nah, probably. Apparently not. So, smoke boy, I was down there trying to photograph Gordy. You got me. So what? Huh? That don't change what I saw, does it? Exactly. What you just used several precious minutes of our time to prove is nothing more than that the witness is an idiot who thinks monsters exist. <laughs> but as she so succinctly said, so what? It changes nothing. Not true. You were hiding the whole thing about Gordy for some reason, I know it. But what could it have been? Whatever it is, I'm getting to the bottom of this. Miss Hart, why did you hide the fact that you were searching for Gordy from the court? Please revise the testimony. Right, fine, I testify. It won't change nothing, though. Something will change, it has to. Of course it has to. And I'm going to spot it. Princess testimony, let us new testimony. Actually, I'm not a research. What? I'm an investigate. Uh, I am an investigate uh, photographer. Oh, imagine what a scoop it'd be if I got a picture of that monster. That's why I was camping out by the lake. But that's all I was hiding. When I heard the bang, I looked right straight out of the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. I was looking right at the boat the whole time, crossed my heart, and hoped to fry. <laughs> hope to fry. Okay. I never heard of that expression before. 
Hmm, well, Mr. Bright, you may cross-examine a witness. What? The witness testimony is unchanged from before. Whether she is a research student or a photographer has no being on this case. There's no need to waste more of her time with another pointless cross-examination. Oh, shush. Uh, hum. Go, Phoenix! I claim the defense right to cross-examine a witness, Your Honor. When Karma's up to something, I know it. Yep, he's totally up to something. He doesn't want me to cross-examine her, because why? Was there a contradiction? Very well. You may begin the cross-examination. You seem sure of yourself. You must have something in mind. <laughs> there would be a first. Excuse me? Ha ha ha, very funny. <laughs> you understand that this is your last chance at a cross-examination, Mr. Bright. Is there, if there is no problem with the testimony this time, we will let the witness leave. I will announce my verdict at that time, Mr. Bright. Understood. Y yes, Your Honor. Evil stare off. You freaking suck! Actually, why would we lie about that? I guess we're not gonna be too. No, <laughs> go at the go too much with the press button this time. Hmm. Okay. I want to press here to know more about that. Was there nothing on the lake but the boat at that time? Huh? Wait, so you're thinking maybe he was shot from some other place? I don't think so, no. The lake was so smooth as the lake and nobody was on the shore, neither. Oh. Hmm. I better find some sort of contradiction in this testimony. I won't be able to beat one karma any other way. There has to be something. Yes. Actually, another research. Uh, okay. <sighs> That's illegal. No, there's something more. It's about the camera. I think it's time you told us why you felt you had to hide your true purpose at the lake. If we get out what I was up to the lake, we swarm and we compete, 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 there we go. Yeah, second rate shutter bugs trying to steal my scoop. Ah, is that the only reason you were hiding the truth? Wait, wait, actually. I, uh, you're gonna tell her, uh, he told her not to say anything. Mr. Bright, I will not have you asking me questions with no relevance to this case. Whatever you say, Mokama, I know you told her to give you a, a quick quiet. Okay. Exactly what sort of sound was it? Well, I never heard one before, so I can't say for sure, but it sounded like a gunshot. It was a lot sharper sound than I would, I would have expected. Maybe it was a camera. There wasn't much is to look at, so I watched the boat all time. Then I saw a flash near one of the men's hands, and I heard another gunshot. Okay. Hmm. There wasn't much else to look at. Yup. I don't know, if she heard a bang and she thought Gordy was out there, I kind of doubt she'd waste any time looking at the boat. What? What did I do now? What are you giving me a look for? Definitely suspicious. Maybe it's time for some evidence. Witness, continue. Hold your horse, puppies. Pops, I'm getting there. <laughs> huh. Okay. Fire free towns, that is right there. Hmm. Okay, it was all everything. Um, this is kind of actually not a yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes. Uh, 
heard the bang, I looked right straight. I looked straight out of the lake. There wasn't much else to look at, so I just watched the boat the whole time. That's so weird. But I don't know what I can present if I could present the article again. Okay, I think that's gonna be wrong. I'm not sure about this at all. But we're gonna try. Miss Hart, were you really looking at that boat? What was with you? Of course I was looking at it. It was the only thing out there. Any normal person would be looking at it. I agree, any normal person would. But you are far from... <laughs> That's not nice! What, what, what? You wanna stay, step over here and say that again? You were camping at that lake to take a picture of Gordy. Think about it. What would you do if you heard a loud noise? You'd be scanning the lake for any sign of Gordy, that's what. You wouldn't give the boat a second thought. Uh. Okay, right. Oh, that's good. Order. Continue, Mr. Bright. You clever person, you. You testified that you were watching the boat through binoculars. However, you would need binoculars to watch that boat. You need them to search for Gordy, and that's what you were doing. <gasps> well? Well, now that you'll mention it, I did sort of take my bit in the clothes and kind of um, scan the lake a bit. I mean, Gordy might be out there, you know. Miss Hart! Are, are you saying that you were not watching the boat then? So, sorry, y'all. I wasn't fibbling, really. I was just. I thought, you know, I could be witness to a murder and all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what? I kind of got excited. I was sure I was watching the boat till now. Okay. This is this is totally uncalled for. But but hey, you got the photograph. You got proof. Hmm. Still, we can't see who is shooting who is who in this. Well, right. That's why I took the photo and. Ugh, of course you're gonna say something. Witness, that's enough. You have a long day. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> oh wow. Sh sh shoot my what? What was she going to say? I want to hear it. She took the photo and what? Wait a second. She even had a photograph to prove it. But you, you never can tell from a photo who is shooting. That's uh, that's why she said she's going to enlarge the photo. And she said it dropped the uh, it uh, it'll drop the quality. I might, but she'd let us see who's who. Huh. She enlarged that photo. Why won't uh, Von Karma let her show it? I've got a hunch. I bet that enlarged photo show something bad for Von Karma. This is my chance. If I'm wrong, though, it would mean present for edgy, edgy boy or worse. What should I do? Make a show the enlargement, of course. Miss Hart, look at this photograph. You enlarged this photograph, did you not? Yeah, yeah, I did. Why has that enlarge, enlargement not been pre presented to the court? Of course, you're never gonna. Be, 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 because it does not exist. <laughs> what? What? What are you talking about? You were the one who told me not to show it in court in the first place. You old fool. Oh yes, here's them. What's the meaning of this, Mr. Von Karma? I'm shocked. Not really. <laughs> Miss Hart? Show the photo to the court. Show us the enlargement. Yeah, music time. The persecution objects to the submission of the evidence. Why? Objection denied. Oh! The witness will show the enlargement to the court. Here it is. Wait. Huh. Hmm. We still cannot see who's spying in this. It could be defendant, or maybe it's not. It actually looks like Edgy Boy is the one getting shot. Not like, and not the other way around. Because I look at the pose and the clothes. Regardless, I accept this as evidence. Lake photo added to the court record. Happy now, Mr. Bright. Hmm, there has to be something. You asked for the enlargement, you get enlargement. Ugh, <sighs> that. A little good it has done, Agapus. That's why I requested she not show it. Yeah, right. Hmm, I suppose this means that the cross examination. It's over, obviously. 
Then, then I would like to close the cross examination of Miss Lala Hart. And none too soon. That was a flagrant waste of my time. No, it wasn't. It was really important. Miss Karma, Mr. Von Karma, do you have anything to add? I stated everything I needed to when this trial began. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? The truth. Not hiding evidence, you poo-poo. Nothing, of course. Then I believe it is time for me to declare my verdict. No, it's not. Wait, it's not supposed to go like this. There has to be a clue in this photo somewhere. This is bad, real bad. What should I do? Uh, wow. I'm gonna look at the court record. I mean... It says fired three times. Three times. And there was two shots, two sounds, you know, two bangs. It's weird. And... It's real, and this was... Uh, 15 minutes after, like, after 12, and she's like, ah, yeah, it was just uh, midnight, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know. Object to enlargement. Show other evidence. Wait, wait. Your Honor, this evidence. <sighs> I believe we have spent enough time talking about evidence. Hmm, indeed. We heard opinions on every piece of evidence but this enlargement. I see no point in retracing our steps. This is bad, real bad. Oh, okay, so it was wrong. Okay, object to enlargement then, I guess. Your Honor, there is something decidedly... Uh, there is something decidedly strange with this enlargement. What would not that be? Mr. Wright, you will show the court what you mean. What about this photo is strange? Okay, here goes nothing. I'm sure the judge was strange about this photo. Oh, holy man. Holy boo boo. Um, this, the, this? Wow, I don't wanna. No, this is not right. This is not right. Oh no! No. Oh no, we've got only three left. Your Honor, never mind that. My my finger slip. Uh, please let me show you again. Hmm. Uh. Whoa! I don't know. Is that we can't see their faces? Is that the coats or the gun or the hand or... I don't know. I don't know. I don't dare to do this wrong. Oh yeah, this is wrong. Oh wait, maybe this is right. They're saying something other than the usual that you did wrong. I'm not sure I understand. What about the shooter strange? Can you be more specific? Specific, right. I showed the judge what's strange about this photo. Oh, okay. Then get a false one now. Wait. This is the left. And Mr. Edgy Boy is right handed, right? Okay, I'm gonna take a hand. I hope this is right. Here you go. No, this was wrong. But I thought... Okay, well, it was right, I guess. I don't know, I'm so confused. Look at the hand holding the pistol, Your Honor. The hand? The hand directly contradicts another piece of evidence. This man left hand does what? Other hand, my left hand, what? Let me show you. Uh, I show you the evidence that left hand contradicts. Uh... Bears, Prince... Yeah, okay. Oh, good. And we're right, actually. Huh. The evidence is clear. The man in this photograph is holding the pistol in his left hand. However, the prints on the murder weapon were from Edge was Edgy Boy's right hand. Ergo, the man shooting the pistol in this photograph is not Mr. Edgy Boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my, serious time. Serious, serious. This is getting serious. Now that... Now that everyone in the courtroom has quiet down, I would like to reconvene this court of law. Mr. Wright, you're so awesome. Yes, Your Honor. I know. 
you have given us a definite proof today. We now know that it was not Mr. Edgy Boy who fired the pistol that night. However, this leaves us with a rather large problem. If Mr. If Mr. Mr. Edgy Boy didn't do it, then who shot our victim? Precisely. As we have seen, there were no other people in the lake that night. Who but the defendant could have shot the victim? Larry? The victim himself. There's only one explanation remaining. The man who shot the victim was none other than the victim himself. Oh, not three times? Oh, okay. Order, order! So, you're saying that the victim committed suicide? Yes, Your Honor. I can think of no other explanation. Hmm. Indeed, that does seem to be the only remaining option. Of course, objection. I'm still very, very sorry, Mr. Bright. The suicide is out of question. How come? Wha what? An examination of the victim's wound reveals the distance at which he was shot. The distance? Uh huh. Wait, can you really see that? The, the victim was clearly shot from further than a meter away. A meter? That, that's three feet. There is no way it could have been suicide. What? Oh, now it's getting serious again. Order, order! Mr. Devon Kama, are you sure of the accuracy of your data? Of course, I have already considered the possibility of suicide, you see. No, you haven't. A top report updated in the court record. Hmm, I see. Very well, allow me to state my opinion. Oh. Considering the situation, the shooter had to be the defendant, Mr. Edgy Boy. But that doesn't make sense. However, the prints on the gun revealed that the shooter was not Mr. Edgy Boy. This is a conundrum. Therefore, I would like to suspend proceedings for this trial for the day. Oh, okay. The court orders the defense and prosecution to further investigate this matter. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> that is all. The court is adjourned. Slam. Slam, slam, slam. I want some confetti. I miss the confetti. December 26th, 1.15pm. 1, 1 this is court defend lobby, num lobby number two. Whew, that was a close one. Hello there. Hey, how's it going? Don't you have anything to say? No, I have yet to be declared innocent, right? Well, yeah, but... What happened out there on the lake, anyway? If they didn't commit suicide, then who? The shooter was about a meter away, too. What? 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 Don't give me that look. I didn't... I did not kill him. I was just kidding around. Well, it's not nice to kid around about those kind of stuff, you know? Not when it's like this. You know, too soon, too soon. <clears throat> look. I'm going to go check on my Oh. Right. What? Tell her something for me. You're gonna say something mean. What? Hmm? Tell. Tell her to watch what she says in court. Oh, you worry about her? This girl. Yeah, I'm sure she'll be happy to hear you say that, Mr. Edgy Boy. Jerk! Okay. Well, cops. It's not like me and like he cared. I requ requisitioned a transcript of Lada's entire testimony. I thought it might give me some am ammunition for the trial tomorrow. Of course she didn't see the shooter. So the only part of her testimony that stood was the bang she heard. The two bangs, actually. Lada's deposition added to the court record. To be continued. Well, this is... This is kind of difficult, this case, but it's all so very, very interesting, and I really want to, I really want to know, I want to find out more. I want to find all the clues, I want to solve this case. Yes, because it's so interesting. Ah, this is getting really, really heavy. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching and commenting and liking. And if you're new to this channel and new to me, welcome! And if you want to see more videos like this, become a subscriber today. And that means you will be our friend, enjoy the friendship that we're doing here, and that will be awesome! And also, wherever you are, whether it's day or night, I hope you're having a great time. I'll see you later, my friends. Bye! Bye! And oh, you do? I'm being serious. Oh, you're so cute. What? What the? Oh, no! Uh, I had a great time. 
Oh, you sweetie. Take care, Rasmus. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs>